okay so last time we talked about blood and we defined it and we said that it had a, it has a liquid component to it so today we're going to focus on that so what is plasma uh, plasma this is the um, water part of blood and it appears light yellow in color uh, whenever we have a uh, plasma without fibrinogen it's called serum it's no longer called plasma and um, we get serum whenever we coagulate the blood so plasma constitutes 92 percent water and 8 percent solid um, plasma contains uh, solids uh, which include coagulants plasma proteins um, electrolytes immunoglobulins hormones vitamins and enzymes so these are the plasma proteins and their concentrations i'm not going to talk about them in detail but uh, we have here albumin uh, which serves in as an oncotic um, protein we have transferring transport ion we have coagulation uh, factors for blood protein and so on just to expand on coagulation factors so what really happens let's say we have an injury right we have a cut and uh, this cut leads to the uh, injury of the blood vessel so when the blood oozes out of that injury and there is exposure to the blood with calcium ions this will lead uh, to a cascade of reaction it will lead to platelet activation right then the, after this platelet uh, activation they will then um, begin the coagulation uh, cascade right which will lead to the fibrin formation right so this fibrin can only be brought about by clotting factors so we see that they are of high essence and the examples which we have on this diagram we have factor 2 um, then uh, we this is the unacted unactivated form also called prothrombin then we have the active form called uh, thrombin and all of these factors they are of high necessity so let's say for example one is deficient in clotting factors this will result in con in blood conditions such as hemophilia and von Willebrand diseases right as you can see here one is a cut or an injury and the bleeding is excessive even for a, from a minor cut as we can see here it's excessive and one can also have internal injury as you can see this blood vessel um, a hemorrhaging inside of um, this guy's hand right and to lead to this purplish blotch right then albumin this is the main protein that controls oncotic pressure uh, inside the blood and it also transports uh, multiple endogenous and ex exogenous substances in the body such as hormones and uh, substances which we ingest in our diet right now infusion of albumin is mostly used when one has hemorrhagic shock bends or cirrhotic, cirrhotic uh, patients why uh, these conditions they will lead to a low uh, plasma volume so what albumin does is it restores the plasma volume for example when one has hemorrhagic shock they will have who have had excessive bleeding so what this albumin does it restores the amount of um, fluid inside of your blood uh, then the same to do with bands one who have uh, uh, inflammation and 
some kind of edema since uh because of the bends right so this albumin also serves that same function then uh globulins also a group of proteins uh which um maintain oncotic pressure they have a globular structure and they are divided into alpha beta and gamma globulins they are much bigger and larger than albumin and are produced by the liver the same as albumin right we also have immunoglobulins under plasma proteins uh, which uh, play an important role in the defense against bacteria and fungi they can be classified into immunoglobulin a d e g and m so whenever we have disorders in the production of these immunoglobulins for example uh, children uh, we have prime primary immune deficiency uh, when the body cannot synthesize antibodies right we will have uh, immunoglobulin uh, disorders right and one will be prone to bacterial fungi and viral infections and uh, research is being done on their use in the manufacture of vaccines then enzymes um, the example I have here is alpha antitrypsin which is produced by the liver and breaks down proteins produced during inflammatory processes in the lungs right and some other enzymes are tissue specific and also found in the blood as biomarkers of tissue specific diseases for example disease of the li liver kidney or the heart right so enzy enzymes also type of uh, plasma proteins are of high necessity then other types of plasma proteins are hormones uh, angiotensin, testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, aldosterone, and vasopressin all secreted and are free flowing in the plasma and are of high importance, right? So that's all for now. Uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about some of the causes of low plasma protein. Okay, so thank you.